On the final Sunday in February, people from all across the state came to experience the regular season finale and Pink Zone at Penn State. We got a packed house out there, and, and this is this is one thing you guys got to realize. There, there are going to be over 10,000 people out there. What impression are you going to give? What impression are you going to leave? for them about who you are as a player and who we are as a team. You have to show them the best that we have to offer, your best game. Give these people your best effort and let the rest take care of itself. A boatload of people dressed in pink today. It is a touching thing. You have to be amazed and a little bit in awe about all the work that people put into this game. This is quite the event. All the money goes to a great cause. And Lady Lions hoping to put on a good performance today for all the people who came out to support them. Maggie Lucas getting her first start of her career. Point guard, I just got to, you know, keep it simple and play with him myself. Um, game by game, though, I'm just going to do what my coaches and my teammates ask of me. So if that's to start one game, then I'll take it as that. But, you know, we move forward in the Big Ten tournament, and that's not a concern moving forward. Well, I'll tell you what, this is probably the wildest color combination I've ever had a chance to broadcast. Tip is controlled by Northwestern. Shot clock at two, Marshall a desperation three. Long rebound comes out on the wing, and then the pass is a bad one to kick it back out to Jones. Lucas ahead of the pack on the runaway is up and in, and Penn State has a 13-10 lead. Shot clock at five. Bentley recognizes, looking for a pick. She'll let one fly from the right edge. It hangs on the rim and falls for two. Touch pass down low to Jeske, puts it up, and Marissa Wolf fouled her. And again, just too big, too strong. And Northwestern goes to the locker room with a one-point lead over the Penn State Lady Lions. We always play better in the second half, so we're due, all right? Lady Lions on three. One, two, three. Lady Lions! Lucas lobs it down low to Green. Green makes a good catch, puts it up off the glass and in. A nice pass by Lucas and a nice adjustment by Green to get the bucket. Marshall drives in the lane, misses a wide open shot. Rebound pulled down by Ariel Edwards. Across to Lucas. Lucas, three point shot on the wing is good. That gives her 100, the second player in women's basketball history here at Penn State. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. That's the pace we gotta play at. Across the gray. Wide open look at three for Zsa Zsa. Good! And Penn State is up by eight. We got three stops. We got three stops right here. The game is ours. Good job by Bentley as she steals the outlet pass on a lazy pass from Taylor Jones. Penn State has a three on two. Gray, three-pointer near. Way is good. And that's another five-point swing for Penn State. And Julia Tregell, the lone senior, with the basketball. And a timeout is called. And we're going to see a substitution for Julia Tregell. And listen to the crowd. She loves to be playing in front of a big crowd. And uh, I think we try, really try to support her. And uh, today, standing ovations for the last two minutes, I think that's, that's awesome. I'm mostly proud of her because she excelled here at Penn State. She's made the Dean's List. She's won a number of scholastic awards. As a father, you always want your daughter to, to do well and, and progress both fields uh, as an athlete and as a student. And for the first time since 2004, the Penn State Lady Lions will be one of the top two seeds in the Big Ten postseason tournament as they win this one by a final count of 66 to 56. Julia! Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, senior. Great job, senior. I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really proud of, of the way we continue to fight and the way we continue to get better. And what was, what was great about the game today is we started to freak out for a little bit, and then we calmed down, and we started playing together and communicating, and everybody had a part. Everybody had a part, and, and we need everybody. And everybody's part doesn't necessarily show up in the stat sheet, but when we stay and play together, then, then we're unstoppable. The Northwestern pulled everything out of the book they had, and we handled it. We handled everything that they could throw at us, and that's what we got to do this weekend. Big Ten tournament. Three games in three days. Guess what? Been there, done that. You know, can't kill it. See, there's a master plan to all of this stuff. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go three and zero instead of two and one. Let's not stop here. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's see how great we can be this year. Yes. All right. Yep. Lady Lions on three. One, two, three. Lady Lions. Nice job.
The second seated Lady Lions won the on-court battle and took on breast cancer by honoring more than 350 survivors and their families at halftime. The fifth annual WBCA Pink Zone at Penn State raised more than $102,000 for future cancer research, but the impact was felt immediately. Your courage in fighting through breast cancer and surviving and that fight, that competitive nature, we look at you as heroes. This is such a good like thing for all these survivors and you know, it's a humbling experience definitely for this whole team. It means a lot to me. I'd like to see more people come out to support the Pink Zone after going through the cancer. I now know the challenges that are ahead of me are not as severe as the cancer was and now I know I can do anything I choose to do in the world today. This event is very very special. This is my first event and my niece is the head coach here so it's really special to me to win and the game and also the survivors and also to hear a survivor that was 43 years as a survivor. It's very very special and it's just encouraging me and other people and you just don't give up. You never give up.